हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो गाइज इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाव यू कैन सेटअप ऑनलाइन फूड ऑर्डरिंग प्रोजेक्ट ऑन योर लोकल मशीन आफ्टर डाउनलोडिंग द सोर्स कोड सो नाउ गाइज लेट मी गो टू माई फाइल एक्सप्लोर एंड हियर यू कैन सी आई हैव फूड ऑर्डरिंग प्रोजेक्ट जिप फाइल सो गाइज इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी डाउनलोड द प्रोजेक्ट दैन यू विल गेट दिस जिप फाइल ओके एंड नाव यू नीड टू एबस्ट्रैक्ट दिस फाइल आफ्टर एबस्ट्रैक्टिंग यू विल गेट दिस फोल्डर and when i go inside this folder you can see i have a source and when i go inside this source directory i have uh, two folders and two files uh, first folder is for backend spring boot so inside this you will get all the spring boot code and uh, front end react inside this you will get all the react code and uh, third thing is set project on your local machine so let me open this so in this text file guys you will get all the step for set a project on your local machine okay we'll use this a uh, step and uh, set up our project step by step all right so now first thing is uh, let's open our uh, backend with any id so you can see guys here uh, what is our first step open uh, your backend code in any id so i have opened my uh, code in intellij idea you can see here uh you can use uh, eclipse or uh, sts as well guys okay uh what is the st uh, second step so go to application dot properties file you can see i am already in application dot properties file so where you will get this file inside src uh main file uh, main directory inside main directory you will get the resource and inside this resource directory you will get this file application dot properties file now what are the changes we are uh we need to made in application dot properties file so first thing you need to do is uh change the mysql database configuration so first change the db name so guys you can see currently i uh, have joe's food db name okay so let me give here any db name so what i'm going to give here is uh, like uh, food food ordering okay so this is the guys the db name whatever you can give you can give your name as well uh, but make sure that after giving this name you need to create this database in your uh, mysql so let me open my sql command line and first i need to log in so let me log in here okay uh, you can see i am logged in in my sql command line now i need to create this database so let's copy this and uh, run command create database and give the database name it will create database for you you can see query okay one row affected now if i uh, go to and uh, use this database use food ordering and so tables t a b l e s tables you can see empty set we don't have currently any tables inside this database all right correct our database is created but we don't have any table uh, no worries now let's move to next part and here you need to provide your uh, mysql password so let me provide here mine so this is my password guys don't provide this password in your local machine provide your password okay uh third thing you can see here uh, give your stripe payment get the secret key so here you need to provide your stripe payment get the secret key to make sure that uh, your uh, payment get is uh, work perfectly fine without any error okay now give, give your email and the uh, app password so here guys you need to provide your email and your app password how you how you will create your app password so i have given here one video link uh, go through this video and uh, learn how to create app password okay and provide this app password here okay that's it for this now uh, why this configuration so guys uh, this configuration you need for uh, reset your password okay so whenever user will click on reset password okay that time you need to uh send one email to that user and uh, he will get one 
link okay reset password link by clicking on that link he can uh, reset their password so yeah guys for sending email to user we need this configuration and uh, this configuration we need for payment gateway i hope you understand now let's uh, run our project and of course guys uh, if you are uh, using this project then you need to install lombok okay without lombok it will give you a uh, lots of error like uh, get setter method won't be available for your entire project okay so make sure you install lombok and if you don't have a lombok then you need to create uh, manually getter setter methods and uh, i hope this uh, how you can create getter setter method you have that uh, basic knowledge okay now uh, let me explain this expand this and you can see here my backend is running successfully and if i can show you this you can see uh, tables are automatically created i don't need to create any table okay you can see create table address card card item category coupon event then food ingredients all the tables which are uh, needed for our project automatically created okay we don't need to create any table manually now let's check on our database uh, actually actually is a table is created or not so so tables now you can see uh, earlier we have this empty set but now we have this much table in our database okay we haven't created any single table manually but still in database we have this table okay so now let me minimize this and guys here you can see i have given auto ddl true so because of this configuration our uh, table will be created automatically in your database you don't need to create any table or uh, when you give auto ddl update okay uh, now let's move to the next part so next thing is run front end okay first let's go to here and open our front end in vs code guys okay it will take some time and you can see our, our vs code is opened okay first thing what you need to do npm i run npm i so let me do npm i it will guys uh, install all the packages and dependencies which we are going to use in our project okay after installing uh, or maybe run npm i what you need to do just run your project by using uh, by running command npm start npm start okay this command will uh, start your react application on localhost 3000 you can see uh, our application is running on localhost 3000 okay now what next so first thing guys you need to do is register okay because uh, we have currently create our new database so of course we don't have any user in our database so we need to create one uh, let's give here name uh, asok let's give uh, email so get the red gmail.com password and then let's provide a role so role will be restaurant owner and let's register it and after guys registering uh, we need to onboard our user okay so he need to give uh, the restaurant detail so let's upload images of our restaurant okay this is the second image uh, guys as many uh, image you want you can uh, upload here for your restaurant okay and let's give here a restaurant name so let's give asoka restaurant asoka restaurant description let's give uh, gujarati food uh, because i am from gujarat uh, you can give your uh, description okay cushion tab let's give gujarati then the street address let's give rajkot city mumbai maharashtra uh, state gujarat okay inside gujarat we don't have mumbai but still let it be and postal code let's give this uh, country i will give india email i will give code with josh then mobile number let me provide this uh, twitter handler handler 
let me provide this twitter handler and uh, here let me provide this okay so, uh, so guys you can see i have provided uh, uh, twitter.com and instagram.com but you can provide here your profile url okay now let's click on create restaurant and there you go our restaurant is created let's go to detail and from here you can see detail of our restaurant like name ashoka restaurant owner a restaurant name cushion type then opening our status uh, country city postal code street address email mobile and social icon uh, so if you click on instagram it will redirect onto the instagram okay now guys here you can see my restaurant status is currently closed that means my restaurant is closed but you can change your restaurant status like uh, by clicking on open you can see now status is open so your restaurant is open and if you want to close it again you can just click here and your restaurant will be closed now let's open this let's go to first uh, food category so guys first we'll add um, any food category let's add the uh, dosa then let's add uh, burger and let's add uh, chicken chicken okay and now let's go to ingredients let's add some ingredients like uh, okay before uh, adding any ingredients we need uh, cat ingredient category so let's add uh, let's add bread okay let's now let's add ingredient white bread and choose the category like it's a bread okay create you can see a white bread is uh, created now let's go to food that means menu and let's create a uh, uh, food so now let me go to here let's uh, select the burger okay open here let's give the name burger uh, delicious burger let's provide the price food category will be burger uh, ingredients white bread uh, because only I have white bread if you have more ingredients then you can add here as well now is vegetarian and is seasonal no so let's create now item you can see food created successfully now let's go to menu you can see here our food okay uh, one more thing guys you can create event as well so let's create one event uh, here you need to provide image URL location will be India event name let's provide the Katiawadi restaurant then let's uh, select any future date okay and let's select here as well and let's submit you can see our event is created successfully okay so that's it from uh, admin side now let's go to our uh, new incognito tab and let's create one customer uh, customer account okay so local uh, let's run here local host uh, let's go to register uh, let's uh, give the username Pablo Pablo wants to uh, register themselves on our platform as a customer so let's provide your Pablo detail Pablo at the gmail.com uh, let's provide your email and uh, role will be the customer let's create on the uh, register okay uh, you can see I am registered with the Pablo's account and if I scroll down you can see this restaurant Asoka restaurant okay so currently guys with uh, our platform we have only Asoka restaurant okay which we have added currently but if more user will be uh, on board on our platform as a restaurant owner then all the restaurant of their uh, user will show here okay uh, now let's click on this restaurant and here you can see uh, we have added this burger in Asoka restaurant and uh, currently this uh, menu is out of stock okay so you can't click on uh, add to card button so let's do one thing let's go to our admin side and let's change the status of our uh, food so now it is in in stock okay now let's go to customer side let's refresh this and now you can see it is available okay so let's uh, click here and uh, here you can see and from from here you can uh, change the quantity as well increase the quantity as well 
and from here you can add address and check out all right so yeah guys for checkout um, uh, make sure that you have provided your stripe payment on gateway key in application dot properties file uh, without this stripe payment gateway uh, this checkout will not work okay so i'm not gonna check out here and i guess uh, that's it for uh, this video you can see here all the restaurant detail and all this thing now guys uh, i hope you have uh, basic understanding like uh, how you can set up uh, online food ordering project on your local machine all right guys so that's it for this video now let's meet in the next video